this is a big risk. But for who? Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to Broken Nose Boxing's build-up video for a bizarre fight. A, a, a fight between two novice fighters that are more famous for things outside of the boxing ring than inside of the boxing ring. But regardless of that, we have Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury in a cruiserweight fight live on December 18th on Showtime pay-per-view and BT Sport box office. Now, I like this fight. It's competitive, which is more than you can say for any of the fights they've been involved in thus far. <laughs> Apart from arguably, I sure know, I, I stand by that statement. Before we get into the detail, let's introduce both fighters. TNT Tommy Fury has got a record of seven wins, zero losses with four wins coming by way of knockout. He has fought most of his career in between light heavyweight and cruiserweight. He's 22 years old, he's six foot, and he's from Manchester, Lancashire and the United Kingdom. Oh, he's also an orthodox stance. Jake Paul has got a record of four wins, zero losses, with three wins coming by way of knockout. He is 24 years old. His alias is the Problem Child. He is six foot one, and he is born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, USA, but now resides in Dorado, Puerto Rico. He has got an orthodox stance. So, elephant in the room. Yes, this is a legitimate boxing fight. Jake Paul up until now has only fought non-boxers and all of them have been on their pro boxing debut. This, however, is Jake Paul's first fight against an actual professional boxer in Tommy Fury. However, Tommy Fury himself has fought a hilariously bad number of fighters. Check this out. Fury's only fought one fighter with a winning record and that's because he was basically humiliated online into fighting someone with a winning record. That is how reluctant Fury's management are to put him in with anyone credible. And I think that speaks volumes more so than any other statistic is that the level of opposition that Tommy Fury has been in with is very low. He comes from a very proud fighting family, the Furies. Peter Fury, John Fury, Tyson Fury, all of them professional or previously professional fighters. Tyson Fury is the world heavyweight champion, the two-time world heavyweight champion. I think there's a lot of pressure on Fury to become a professional boxer. And from the interviews I've seen, I don't think he really cares about boxing. I don't really get the sense that he's wanting to become, you know, I don't get the sense he's in the gym dreaming of becoming a world champion. That's what motivates pretty much every boxer. They want to become a world champion. And if they get to a stage in their career where they've had a few losses and they realize they're never gonna become a world champion, then they just wanna, you know, earn as, enough money to provide for their family. That's pretty much the, the storyline or the arc of most boxing careers. However, Fury only seems to be in boxing because his dad wants him to be and I kind of feel for, for Fury a little bit. I, I understand that, you know, the fierce, you could almost say toxic masculinity of the Fury family means that Tommy probably doesn't have much of a say in whether or not he wants to become a boxer. You're going to be a boxer and that's it. And I think that his lack of motivation for boxing shows in the ring and his performances. In his last fight, Fury looked good. He threw a good number of combination punches, but th there was that thing where he just looked a bit nervous. And um, I think he was a bit in awe of the occasion, which makes sense, you know, he's young, he's inexperienced. And also I don't know if the motivation is there. For Jake Paul, it's the opposite. Jake Paul is nothing but motivation. Jake Paul is not in boxing for money. and. I just do not believe he's in boxing for money. A few years ago, he had a net worth of over $20 million. That was before he started getting into boxing. He could have continued to make YouTube videos and uh, wouldn't have had to have done the boxing, but he's, he's decided to do the boxing. And I, I think he's doing it for fame and ego rather than money. 
Now, ego has driven many a career, and I think Jake Paul wants to become the most popular fighter in the world. I think that's his vision. You look at his, his, his social media biography, I am boxing. <laughs> that's how he talks. And um, I think he wants to become the most famous fighter in the world. I think that's his goal. And fighting Tommy Fury is going to help him continue on that path. The main criticism that Paul has had is you've not fought any boxers, you've not fought any legitimate fighters. Well, he's fighting Tommy Fury now, who is an undefeated prospect, who is the brother of the world heavyweight champion. This is the perfect fight for Jake Paul, but I don't think it's the perfect fight for Tommy Fury. I think that Tommy Fury could freeze in this fight early on. I think he might expend a lot of nervous energy at the start, which could work against him in the fight. But if Fury can overcome the occasion and sort of get a little bit more self-belief in the ring, then, you know, looking at boxing ability, Tommy Fury throws, he's got a better shot selection and he's got a better defense. Because when Jake Paul throws punches. I remember the first couple of times I watched Jake Paul, and when I watched the Woodley fight uh, recently, I, I was like, Paul looks weird when he throws punches. Like, watch, after this video, go watch a couple of clips of Jake Paul fighting. When he throws a combination punch, it looks weird. And it's because of this, right? He puts his chin high up in the air when he's throwing a punch. So when he's stepping into the punch, he kind of does this when he's throwing it, and it just looks really weird, and it's basically screaming out to be counterpunched. Tommy Fury and Team Fury will know this. If I can see this, then, you know, John Fury analyzing the footage can definitely see it. I think if Fury can exploit that defensive weakness in Paul, then Tommy Fury's got a very good chance of winning this fight. But Jake Paul carries power, Jake Paul's got incredible self-belief, and Fury's never really been hit. None of the fighters that Fury's fought against have been anywhere near a credible level of quality. Paul will be confident enough and hits hard enough to throw punches with intent, and it'll be interesting to see how Fury reacts when he gets hit with a couple of big power punches. What do you think about this fight? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you want to throw me a little tip, you can check out my Kofi page. There's a link in the video description. I'd very much appreciate it. And without anything else to say, I'm out. Peace.